Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Spiritual Teacher here. Well, what are these? Capsules, and they don't really have any smell. Now open one up here, and pretty tart. <laughs> so this is capsules of tart cherries. I don't have any cherries at the moment, but I keep this around all the time because they... You know, you don't have to worry about them going bad in the fridge, that type of thing. But tart cherries are wonderful. Whether you eat the whole berry, it's cherry itself, or whether you drink the juice, both are great. I recommend eating the cherries if you can find them all the time. Not always in season, but you can always get the juice. And they have been a great uh, healer of lots of different things all the way back to 72 BC. And they're called tart or sour cherries or... Perinus cerasus, cerasus, Perina cerasus, that's it. And uh, they are great for all kinds of things, including inflammation and dementia and on and on. And I'll get into that more. But this is one of the things that doesn't have any side effects, which is a great thing. And it can help you in all kinds of ways. And it reduces uh, inflammation of the heart and helps to reduce strokes and heart disease it helps with arthritis. Also, it slows down tumor growth in the body, helps prevent uh, dementia. It helps you to get sleep well because it helps a lot of the melatonin in it, which is great. Uh, really a powerful anti-inflammatory. And uh, many journals or studies show that it actually has anthocyanins and uh, other agents which help to in inhibit uh, inflammation in the body, it, even better than aspirin. So, wow, now the good old aspirin is great, but tart cherries does an even better job for pain and inflammation. Another study actually showed that they had a lot of men, actually 54 men actually doing strenuous exercise, and when they uh, took tart cherry juice, they recovered much faster and didn't have the inflammation that they would normally have, and they were running about 16 miles. Uh, another study with a bunch of women also found that if they took tart cherry juice after exercising, they didn't have, you know, all the aches and pains and the inflammation in general. Also helps with weight loss, and that's a, a wonderful thing, too. So if you have want to lose weight, they did studies with animals, and they found that they gave them a really high-fat meal, and they didn't uh, gain weight like the other animals did, so... Very interesting. So if you uh, take tart cherry juice or take some capsules of tart cherry or eat the fruit itself, it will help to prevent that. It has a lot of melatonin in it, like I said. So it really helps you to sleep. Also really great for gout. If you have gout, I mean, that's totally related to diet. It's absolutely positively no other way around it. I had a good friend who Actually, you had gout, and when uh, he was kind of down on his luck, so he said, I'm, I'm taking you to the doctor. I'm going to pay for this because we, this is, he was in super pain. And uh, the doctor said, you got gout. <laughs> I said, you need to go on my diet and lifestyle. And so he got on my diet and lifestyle, and now he's doing great. Super. And uh, tart cherries is one thing that really helps with gout, gets rid of that uric acid in the body. Um, but if you go on my diet and lifestyle, you won't have that problem whatsoever. That's www.paulhader.com. And you go on my diet and click on my diet up in the right-hand side in the white letters there. Follow it and scroll down, read it. It's really good. Also, it helps with muscle soreness and also picks up your strength also. If you want more strength, you want to build more muscle and tart cherries will help you do that because it gets rid of the inflammation. Also great for getting rid of free radicals. You know, these are the agents which start disease. And so we want to get rid of those. And tart cherries, tart cherry juice, tart cherry capsules, that type of thing, help to get rid of the free radicals in the body. Lots of antioxidants in it. Also helps to lower uh, LDL cholesterol. And because it has the anthocyanins, <laughs> I say that again, anthocyanins in it. Uh, also, it lowers down the LDL cholesterol. 
also helps with blood pressure. So if you have a little high blood pressure, maybe a little tad high blood pressure, you might want to start drinking cher cherry juice in the morning, and that will really help. They actually found if they uh, gave men and women a couple eight ounce glasses of tart cherry juice in the morning, uh, their blood pressure went down uh, significantly. Uh, so that was a really interesting test. So really good. Also at the University of Michigan, they did studies that showed it helped to reduce the risk of heart attack and also the risk of stroke and helps with arthritic pain. If you take two of those two glasses of tart cherry juice every day, and if you have arthritis, it will make a big difference. Absolutely, positively, I can guarantee you that. But it's not the way to get rid of arthritis. I had arthritis for 40 years, and I know I lose the lay in bed and pain in general. And uh, when I went on my diet many years ago, it all disappeared. And I will never, ever go back. Absolutely. So also it helps more antioxidants than uh, aspirin does. And so it's a powerful agent. Like I said, it helps with sleep and it helps with weight loss. A few uh, journals show that uh, they did studies with uh, rats, like I said, and they actually didn't get fat like other agent, uh, animals did if they uh, gave them a fatty meal. Helps with macular degeneration. You know, I did a lot of work with the Blind Center in Monterey, California, and helping with people who are totally blind. You go there to read with them and just chat with them and help them in any way. And most of them lost their sight because of uh, the dietary challenges, you know, not eating fruits and vegetables. So tart cherry juice can really help to prevent macular degeneration. It also helps amazingly with glaucoma, so that build up pressure in the eyes, which is really important. And also can help to prevent dementia, uh, which is becoming more and more common these days. And I think it has a lot to do with the poor diets that we have and the 30 to 50 chemicals in our regular food, which is not organic. Also, uh, like I said, helps with arthritis. <clears throat> and also, it's high in potassium. It helps with water regulation and cardiovascular health. Helps the uh, kidneys and the brain and the heart and muscular tissues. It uh, alleviates uh, high blood pressure and uh, high hypertension in general, you know, if you got that little tad of hypertension, you might want to take this, you know, also, like I said, go on my diet, you won't have to worry about it. Also has uh, lots of antioxidants, quercetin, uh, carotenoids, and melatonin, on and on and on, lots of different ones. Also has a super low uh, glycemic index, so eating cherries is a good thing. <laughs> Only a, a glycemic index of 22, so... Yeah, it's pretty amazing also. So you can eat, you know, a good handful of cherries and not have to worry about, you know, having your blood sugar go up. Also, uh, one cup only has 87 calories, which is good. It uh, only has some protein in it. It uh, has very little fat, less than a gram, like a third of a gram. Uh, lots of fiber. also has uh, magnesium in it, manganese, uh, lots of copper. Also potassium, as I said, and B, some B vitamins, iron for anemia. Also uh, lots of calcium and uh, lots of other things too. And traditional Chinese medicine, I think it's really important because it boosts up your qi and qi energy and improves your skin and helps with circulation of the blood and helps with exhaustion and fatigue. And I believe it's a good detoxing agent also. And in Chinese medicine, it helps with diabetes and inflammation con conditions also. And it also comes in a lot of different forms. If you, you can get the juice, you can get the fruit, you can get the powders, you can get the capsules, you can get, I've even seen tablets before. So a lot of different things. It has no side effects whatsoever. Uh, you, know, you ate a ton of cherries, you're going to go to the bathroom <laughs> You're going to have diarrhea, absolutely, positively. So moderation is the key here to everything. I, I think that's really important. Also, it's not for pets because it will give them GI upset. So uh, don't give it to your dog or cat. That's not a good idea. So uh, they will have diarrhea just like that. It's not a good idea. But 
This is one thing that you can take. It doesn't have any side effects in humans, and that's really a great thing that you can keep around the house. I keep it in the capsule form around the house all the time because uh, it's a good thing to have for inflammation. It's even better than aspirin, and uh, you can take a couple of these. I even find it helps with headaches and that type of thing because it gets rid of the inflammation in the body, and sometimes you have an inflammatory headache, so that's a great way to go, too. And if you have... A, a little bit of stomach upset. You might want to take some tart cherry capsules. That really helps with that too. Soothing to everything. If you've got the soreness in your muscles because you did some pull-ups or something, take some tart cherry juice. Really great for that. If you're a runner and your legs are aching, take some tart cherry juice or take some tart cherries and they'll really do a good, great job for you. In fact, all cherries really do, do this in general. So it really will help you feel better. Another thing I'd like to talk about is today is, you know, being negative. I think being negative is, um, it will never help us. There's absolutely positively, it will never help us. If we're negative about this, negative about that, you know what I mean? Uh, I think that it really, a lot of times, it really causes more problems than it does any good or whatsoever. And I can't really see any good of any kind that comes from negativity. And so if we look at the world in a positive way, we look at everything in a positive way, we start to see absolute changes happen. In fact, one of my clients, he actually went on my diet, and he used to have terrible chest pains and uh, found out that he was having problems with wheat. And he eliminated wheat and started doing everything on my diet. And uh, he had GI upsets also, and all disappeared and he thought he was going to have a heart attack, absolutely positively, but uh, absolutely eliminated wheat and started eating fresh food. Every time he would show me something he was eating, it was out of a can, out of a, a carton, out of something, out of a bottle. And I said, no, no, no. <laughs> you got to eat fresh food, organic. And he started doing that. But he was kind of very negative also. And I, he started changing his ways and uplifting himself with positive affirmations and positive thoughts all the time. And he's a different man now. I have to say positively, he's a different man. And we can move towards being a positive, uplifting person who helps people in general in our lives if we allow ourselves to change our thinking. You know what I mean? As Buddha talked about, and even Jesus and the Sai Baba and the Divine Mother, everybody talked about the fact we have to keep our thoughts positive and unloving and kind. And when we do that, we uplift the world, we uplift, uplift ourselves. We will see, soon see changes in our lives that are brought about because we attract good things into our lives. Uh, and I have seen that in my own life. You know, I used to be a negative person way back in my 20s, too, and I decided that's not going to be good. That's not good. I'm not going to go there anymore. And I started changing myself. And great things have come my way. There's no doubt about it. And I, you know, I think that everybody can be uplifted in some way by just thinking positive, uplifting thoughts. And it takes some doing. We have to change our thinking. And uh, you're the only one that can do that. So have a wonderful day. If you want to get a hold of me, my phone number is 831 869-9119. My uh, Gmail address is drpaulhater at gmail. That's my email address. drpaulhater at gmail. D-R-P-A-U-L-H-A-I-D-E-R at gmail.com. And if you look, hit click more, show more down below, click on that. It'll show all of this. And also my Skype address is drpaulhater. Uh, and uh, you can WhatsApp me with my phone number, you can text me, uh, whatever you like to do, get a hold of me. If you're outside the United States, so email is probably the best way. You can WhatsApp me also. Uh, and if I can help you in any way, shape, or form, if you have a quick question, I'll be free to help you in any way, shape, or form. If you'd like to do a consultation, I ask for a $50 donation, and that's good for one year's worth of uh, consultations with me, not just the one hour that we're going to do, or sometimes two hours it works out to be, depending on the, what's going on with the person. 
with it. That also includes ongoing one-year support and helping you with consultations for one year. I think that's a pretty good deal. So uh, if you want to get a hold of me in any way, shape, or form, let me know and I'll help you and uh, make a difference in your life and we can move forward and make you happy, feel healthy, and uplift your, your spirit also. Have a great day. Remember God and remember, I love you.